And this morning we are talking about this big election and how to get the young people in your lives involved. Rita, thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, go ahead. Listen, it's a big task that Huge. you have ahead of you and that we all have ahead of us is how do we get young people to care about the selection process and to vote? Tell me about the challenge ahead of you. The challenge, number one, is to get them to vote. Right. I think they care. If you follow social media, if you follow some of the young people who are very actively involved in politics, my executive assistant, who's uh, under 30, very active in his writing, but getting them to, to vote and to turn out to vote. And why do you think they don't care? Tell me a little bit about hmm. what happens, you know, when you're 20 and, uh, you know, you're still in school, you have the right to vote, you have that right to you vote, have the that right beautiful to vote. right to vote, but you don't exercise it. Well, I think because what they tell us is it doesn't matter. If okay. they exercise the vote, what's going to change? So my vote will not matter. And the second thing right after that, high level of suspicion about politicians. Corruption, mistrust, one is the same, the other is the same. Somebody once said to me, well, you know, uh, four years and we can vote him in and vote him out if we don't like him. That's not an engagement. Right. That's, that's a voting roulette. Yeah. So getting them to vote. That's very laissez-faire, right? If we don't like him, we'll wait another four years. And we'll get him out. Right. That's not passion, right? No. And, and the days where we had youth politics, where political parties had youth leadership, uh, you know, the Tories uh, last the uh, last convention defeated the election of a youth party within the, uh, within the Tories. So it's very interesting. But the first thing they tell us is, What's it going to matter? Right. And the big challenge this time around is this election campaign is quite long and drawn out. What, what's the strategy there? How do you get young people to keep caring when sort of attention spans are... Well, maybe you speak about youth issues in right. the election. Maybe you address the issues that Canada is one of the largest nations in the, in the world that doesn't have a youth policy. What about youth unemployment? What about access to youth education? What about all of the impact of social media? We talk about it when there's a crisis. We talk about it when there's a harassment and bullying. But what about talking about how do you make jobs permanent, not permanent jobs, but jobs in this economy where you have a gig, it's gone. Right. Where you get a bachelor's degree, it's not enough. No. You have a master's, it's too much. You'll retire when you're 100. Well, forget about retirement, right? right? Forget it's about very retirement. Scary. And yeah. also, we're in the middle. This is amazing fact. I don't think most people are aware. We're in the middle of a global boom on youth. This is the single largest youth population ever in the history wow, of the I world. Wow, I wasn't even aware of that. In yeah. the history of the globe. And we see the results of that in places like Egypt. And we talk about it with the Youth Spring Revolution. We worry, some of us worry about it, about the lack of access for our indigenous youth. And we're amazed at how peaceful and how engaged a lot of them are. Speaking but, of engagement, I, I really want to talk about Cassandra Poitras. Bravo, before we, Madame Poitras, Mademoiselle before we, Poitras. Before we let you go. And she turns 18 on election so day. So who is this young woman? I think this is a, one of the most engaged young women that I have across in a while. Now, it's interesting, right? Which party is she engaged with? Tell me. Well, the Greens. And why is that? It addresses her issues around environment. It addresses her issues of uh, accessibility, sustainability. But her age, we have to talk about. Well, her age is brilliant. Her age is brilliant. But she's one of, among a cohort of young people, right? You know that, for example, the youngest ever Speaker of the House is the one we have right now in Ottawa. So it's, 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 an, it's unusual, but it's not impossible. It's unusual because she's 17. She's turning 18. On election day. On election day. So on election day, she becomes 18. Listen, legal. 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 Well, Rita, legal, legal. thank you so much for joining My us. I guess the pleasure. message finally to re register. Register. Vote and care. Ask questions. Ask tough questions. Hey, if you, if you don't vote, you can't complain. Listen. People die to get the right to vote. It's very Let's true. take a moment of being serious. People die for this right. Let's not take it for granted. Wise words, Rita Caracas, thank you so much. CEO of Canada World Youth, the message is clear. Get out there and vote.